exposing alleged scamsters, financial frauds. Vadhawan brothers, who were supposed to be behind the bars and serve the punishment, but are, appear to be enjoying all the privileges, blatantly flouting jail norms. Take a look at this report about what did the India Today investigation find. Private cars stand ready. A retinue of family members and staff await. Our camera captures it all. Two individuals accused of monumental financial fraud appearing to bask in privileges that many behind bars can only dream of. Meet Kapil Vadhawan, his brother Dheeraj Vadhawan. Two of the country's most notorious scam artists in criminal records. The former promoters of the Mumbai based non banking financial company Devan Housing Finance Limited, making the most of their incarceration. The Vadhawans witnessed deeply involved in family and business discussions, finding delight in shared food, relishing coffee. employing mobile devices and even formalizing documents all in the parking lots of hospitals in Mumbai early August the duo in jail facing trial for their alleged involvement in a criminal conspiracy to cheat a consortium of 17 banks. India's biggest bank fraud of 34,614 crore rupees. Thrice bigger than the embezzlement perpetrated in the Nirav Modi case. That's not all. The two brothers caught in the web of over half a dozen CBI and police cases along with ongoing investigations by the Enforcement Directorate. Yet, they have mastered the art of living behind and beyond the prison walls. Kapil and Dheeraj Vadhawan have managed to carve out a life that defies their confinement at the Taloja Central Jail on the outskirts of Mumbai. All under the pretext of medical checkups at government hospitals in the state capital. Kapil Vadwan's car got parked at this particular place in Kame Hospital. When Kapil Vadwan came to uh, Kame Hospital for the treatment, he spent his whole day with his family at this particular place in his car. He met with his friends, his relatives, and even conducts his business by operating a mobile and a laptop in the supervision of those police officers and constables who accompanies him. This is how it's executed. Kapil Vadhawan departed the Taloja prison bound for KEM hospital on August 7th, purportedly for mandated medical examinations. But instead of following the protocols for jail inmates, he veered towards the hospital parking lots, where his private cars await, accompanied by family and associates. Two days later, Thiraj Vadhawan followed a similar pattern, leaving Taloja prison for JJ Hospital, once again on the pretext of a medical checkup. These outings, more than mere medical appointments, the Vadhawans seen enjoying meals, beverages and conversations, using laptops, mobile phones and even signing papers. All this seemingly facilitated by their police escort, who too are served snacks. The police presence remains. But it's clear that these privileges are generously allowed to these wealthy inmates accused of massive fraud. Kapil Vadhawan's access to external medical appointments startlingly frequent, based on jail and hospital documents accessed exclusively by India Today.
his brother's hospital visits echo similar patterns. In July, a special court refused to interim medical bail to Dhiraj Vadhawan, but allowed him to undergo treatment at a private hospital for a heart condition. The prosecution did oppose his bail plea, alleging Dhiraj Vadhawan had on an earlier occasion misused it to sell off some paintings in 2021. And in 2020, police in Maharashtra's Satara district filed a case against the Vadhawans for violating the nationwide pandemic lockdown after they travelled to Mahabaleshwar from Mumbai with a group of 20 people. Back then, the family was allegedly trying to evade probe in the Yes Bank case. IPS Amitabh Gupta, the then Principal Secretary in Maharashtra Government's Home Department, issued the permission letter to the Vadhawans to travel during the lockdown. The same officer, Amitabh Gupta, now an additional Director General of Prisons in Maharashtra. A brazen case of collusion between the high-profile accused and the supporting actors, police and prison authorities, alarming questions about the accountability and integrity of the justice system. A report by Dipesh Tripathi for India Today's Special Investigation Team.